Hey guys, good morning. There I am in the Wizard of Oz coin pusher. Guys, we found something kind of interesting this morning. Well, two things that are interesting. If you ever walk by one of these and that fire button is on, there's credits on it. This one has nine credits on it. Very strange that they would leave it on, but maybe they just didn't know. But more interesting than that, we took a quick glimpse at the card situation. And look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven at least. But look here. A little, uh, a little hint, guys. You never leave a Toto card. There's a bunch more. So needless to say, where we're going to start playing today. Gonna start with a $20 bill here and we will get our 400 credits. Now here's another interesting little fact. <laughs> you see the circular wheel with all the lights lit up? They're all lit but the last one. Now guys, when that lights up, you get a bonus. So we're gonna fire one chip, okay, and watch what happens. We get a bonus. And we got five. So, anyways, those are kind of the ones you want to start with. We're going to zero in on the Toto card here, and uh, let's see. Let's see how long it takes to get him. We're starting with 400, basically, in credits. Let's see if we can't move along. I kind of like the avalanche method, guys. It's the way you get a lot of chips to fall. Now, there's a 50 bonus. And the Toto, as you can see, is kind of inching his way along. Alright, another bonus coming in. That's five. Cards coming in on this, on this left side. You hear that? That's a fifty. Okay, Toto is Toto is coming down. I will let you know. We still have over 300 credits, so see, it just took 100 to get him right to the ledge. All right, here he comes. The next push, right, right now. Yep, there he is, guys. This is the card you want. You see a Toto, guys. You don't leave him. Now, put him safely aside. As you can see, it only took 120 credits to get him to move that far. But, look at this left side. There are no less than 10, at least 10 cards there. Maybe 9, but we're going to go... I'm going to put our crane all the way to the left side. And we're going to play till those cards come off the left side here. And I do think there's 10. And we'll see how many cords of the set we actually have. Stack. 
the silver coins have to be 10 high underneath them, and there's a few more uh, plastic chips as well. Still at 160 credits. There goes a slew of them. Let me count them. Another bonus of 50. That was three of the cards. And there are still probably about six or seven left. It's amazing because when we get these to fall, we're going to move all the way right because there are another probably six cards on the right side as well. are very generous guys. There's a ton of green and red chips coming into play and of course more cards. Ooh, look how high this stack on the left. Here comes another card. these last two cards on the left here, and then we're going to move all the way right. Ooh, right at the end there, guys. 50 extra credits. Oh, another card. Okay, we're going to leave that last card for the next player. We're going to reposition here. We're going to put another 20 in. As we're down to the bottom there. So, so far... We have one, two, three. One, two, three in my left hand. Four, the total, five, six, seven. So, seven cards. Not a complete set by any means. However, I tell people just play for the toto, the other cards come. So let's see if we can't knock down this bank of six, or maybe seven or eight. But I hope you can see, look how high the chips are stacked. They have to be eight or ten high on this right side. bonus of 50. I think that's about 200 or 250 extra credits just on bonuses. I would guess we have about two dozen of the plastic chips in the tray worth uh, between 5 and 20. There we 
we go. A nice fill plus 50 uh, So many chips on this right hand side as you can see the cards are kind of going uphill. I think the next big drop is going to be the cards. Here they come. I can count five of them. Still 130 uh, credits, guys, so we're in good shape. Plus, plus 50, we're in really good shape now. Alright, here comes one. There's one card. What are we up to now? Eight? Oh, there goes another one or two. Oh, and a nice bonus just when we needed it, too. I think we were down to about 15. Anyways, that was... Uh, that was two cards, guys, that just fell into the uh, cup. So we're up to about 10 or 11 cards. We have 76 credits left. Hey, if any of my arcade players out there would like to do a collab video with us, we're all for it. If you have access to a Wizard of Oz coin pusher or the Star Trek version. They're basically, well, they are the same machine, just different cards. We would love to hear from you, and uh, we'll do a little ticket off and uh, see who gets the most points, etc., and uh, have a little fun at the same time while helping each other as far as uh, growing their channel and ours. So we're about done, guys. We have, let's see... We have, oh no, we're going to get another bonus. We have nine plays. And our bonus was five. Let me reach in here now, see how many more cards we have. There are so many chips in the way, I can hardly get to the cards. All right. At least another three. I'm going to give you a close-up of these cards because there are a phenomenal amount. All right, so three more cards in my hand. We're going to count them down here. But look in here. Look how many chips. Those are, those are deep. So let's lay out our cards here on our temporary desk, the air hockey table. And we will see how many we have. All right, we'll put the generic cards off to the left. Those are all worth 50. Look at that. One, two, three, four, right away. Five. There's a duplicate. Generic, generic. Duplicate. Another duplicate, another duplicate. Okay, so we have five cards, but... The creme de la creme 
is the Toto card. Guys, always play when you see a Toto card in there. Let the other cards come as they will. So we're only shy by two cards for a complete set worth 5,000 tickets. Once again, we are at the Wizard of Oz Coin Pusher. Anybody interested in doing a collab video, we're all for it. Let me show you the store here as to what we are offering this week. There are our nice selection of pop bobblehead figures. We have a tremendous amount of drones. We probably go through a dozen drones a week and uh, a lot of kiddie stuff for our young audience. Our age group, I was asked the other day what it is here. It ages from 2 to 85. There you go, guys. We've been so busy with birthday parties, etc. We added a second cyclone machine and a second deep freeze. More machines coming. We've got ski balls coming in about a month, and we are going to do a collab video with. Noah Arcade Nation, our next collab video will be on Slam a Winner, and I think we're going to do a 50 uh, token challenge here. As you can see, this one jackpot value $5.99, pretty high. Anyways, this is a great game. I see a ball that's rolled, that's stuck there. Let's see if we can get it to drop. There it goes. No, it doesn't want to move. Uh, I think it's going to go in the one. No, maybe not. The hundred. No. It has a mind of its own, and after all that, it went in the one. One ticket. There you go, guys. All that dramatic action. Guys, we appreciate you being here. For now, Nevada Arcade. Out.